Yeah, what's your problem, kids? We're back with another reaction video. No cap, today we got Cabin Horror Story. You know what I'm saying? Before you get to make sure they can subscribe, we're gonna change the video. No cap, for I'm a 32 year old man now. Old this ass man scared me for life. When I was 14, oh, me and my 14, mom went on a holiday to see some of our family in Canada. Oh, in Canada, very excited. Shout out my Canadians. Our family Canadian was quite too, distant no at the time. Because my father had left so we got the roots on this shit, you know what I'm saying? Only my Canadians know for real. For real. Some Americans probably know. Well, anyway, probably not, we though. got there and I was reminded just how beautiful it is where my grandma and grandfather lived. And what province they in, bro? By the way, this was around winter time, so it was quite cold. We were enjoying our roast until I heard an echoing scream outside the cabin. Me, I bet you they're North, I, Northern Canada. I just shit, laughed bro, and shrugged it off. Nexus, bro. I was actually petrified of whatever thing would make a noise like that at night. So my grandfather said to me, now let's go get some layers on and go check what it is. The fuck? Being up, very man. large for my age, around six feet one and Damn. about 95 kilograms. Six or around 200 one? pounds or so. Six one, 200 pounds of 14? Goddamn. Or try to fight. So I had to say yes. We got our coats and my grandfather brought his gun. Just for safety. We headed out Strapped around 50 like meters a, from the what, cabin nigga? when we saw what it was. What was it? Oh, it was shit. A Yo, it had been this is crazy. How is the one video we react to that's supposedly in Canada and shit have a moose in it, bro? I swear to God, bro, I have never seen a moose before the dick suckers come in the comments, nigga. These, I, like I said, these niggas is like northern Canada and shit, bro. Like, bro, these niggas gotta be like fucking Saskatchewan or some shit, bro. This is not here, nigga. Or if they if they happen to be on Ontario, they're not near me, bro. They're like up north, nigga. They're not fucking here, bro. I live the fur the furthest from all this shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Hawken was making the same. Dude, that's just crazy, though, bro. So we had to put it out of its misery. Ah, oh, shit. We needed to call someone to help us get rid of the corpse, but we were too tired, and it had started to snow. But something was off. There was nowhere for a rock that size to have come from. We headed back to the cabin. I was just laughing to myself, thinking that my anxious feeling tonight was because I was just being childish. But then all that changed later that night. What happened? About 20 minutes later, we heard the same scream. We all jumped and I looked outside. The body wasn't there anymore. And I shat a brick. I was confused as to how a giant moose corpse pinned to the ground with a rock that weighed probably twice as much as me could have just disappeared. Then I saw something I still have nightmares about. What the fuck is it? It could oh. have been a coincidence, but a man with a Glock G45 was staring at us. What's a Glock? And he aimed what the, what the, what the, right at me. You know, I know the gun. Then he shit. shouted, "Anyone fucking move? This big fuck dies." What he didn't know was that I also carried a pen knife on me because of an incident I had when I was younger. A pen knife. While he was paying attention to the rest of my family, I jabbed it right into his hand that was holding the gun. He dropped it and I ran right at him, tackling him to the ground. Yes, sir. So my family had time to call the police. We traded Knock him punch up. for punch and because I couldn't hold him down, he kept trying to reach his gun after every one of his punches. Bro, why didn't you keep stabbing him, you but dumbass? the scariest thing I remember was that he was just smiling. I ended up trying to stomp on his hand so he would forget about the gun. Then bang! I'd been shot, straight in and out of my shoulder. Damn. Luckily, I had adrenaline rushing through my body and stopped Nigga, you let him pick up the gun, you dumbass? different places. Then I stomped on his ribs and started kicking his head until he was knocked out. All right, buddy, relax. The police ended up coming around 10 minutes later, and I was rushed to the hospital with a few missing teeth and a broken jaw. And a fucking the gunshot. The had several injuries. Three broken ribs, all five fingers crushed, a broken jaw, a broken nose, and a concussion. Damn. It turned out that this man had broken out of prison a few weeks prior. I don't ever sleep at night anymore. Now I'm known as an owl, and I sleep throughout the day. I think to myself now that if I didn't have that pen knife from my father, I would be dead. Let me find out I gotta give me a pen knife, bro. Would be as well. Just know that every person around you has your trust and respect, and you have theirs, because not everybody in this world is a nice person. 
Ah, that shit's crazy, bro. Okay.